I would like to show how to tie this knot. Last night I was asked if I could come up with a knot or knew a knot that had a gaucho pattern on the bottom. And the picture they showed me had gaucho on the bottom and then it had just a five bite one type one pineapple on the top. But they didn't like the pineapple. They wanted it to completely cover like a globe knot so that it was just an over one an under one that closed over the whole end and I wasn't quite sure what they wanted at the time and it was late and I says well let me go to bed and I'll think about it and I thought about this knot all night so today I wanted to try to tie it and what I come up with is I could tie a gaucho fan interweave so it give me a gaucho knot on the bottom and then I thought if I did a Matthew Walker knot at the top so when I come into it with the interweave I could make it an over one under one pattern so it's the same thing as tying a barber pole knot at the top so that is what I tied and I started with an 11 part four byte knot and then I tied the Matthew Walker on top and here is the run list let me hold it so that anybody could take a screenshot so they'd have it then here is the interweave for the gaucho part and then it's a casa knot or a barber pole knot on the top and a few notes up here at the top when you get to this line you have completed a two byte a five part two byte casa knot and then as you finish the 11 4 this is the rest of the run list when we tie this gaucho fan knot where i put nested bites at the top it makes the interweave one less part than the base knot the base knot has 11 parts so the interweave has 10 you can it takes two strands to tie a 10 part four byte knot so we will have to use two strings or make a little cheat down here at the bottom to restart the knot as we do it so right here is MIB for making the nested bite that's make inside bite and then on line five we need to start a new strand or do a cheat to restart a new interweave with the same strand so let me set this out of the way and we will start to tie this knot now the bottom part is just tying well when we start it's just tying a casa knot so we do two wraps we go over two then we go over two then you go under one over one under one over one and that ties our one two three four five part two byte casa knot now all right here's a good time to kind of straighten that out so that those angle the angle of those strings and the angle of these strings are all the same and to tie an 11 part four byte knot you've got to cross under the standing end and continue with the laying of tracks and splitting tracks process on this uh, left hand side of the standing end so we go under there and then we go under over under and then when we get to the top since we're doing a Matthew Walker at the top we go out over two now we turn and we come in under two 
to make our Matthew Walker part. Then we're going to go pull that up over one. No, we went under two. Now over one, under one, over two, under one, and over our standing end. Now we're splitting our track. That laid our tracks. Now we're splitting our tracks. You can see that this is under, under, so we go under it to get in between our two rails. That's over, that's over, so we go over two. This is under those two, so we go under it. That's over, so we're going to go over, and in tying our Matthew Walker, we're just going to go out over four. One, two, three, four. Clear to the top. Now coming back into our Matthew Walker, we're going to go under three. One, two, three. Now we're into our tracks. So you can see that that's over, so we're going to go over it. That's under. We're going to go under. That's over. We're going to go over. Continue splitting. Under. Over. Under. Over. And that brings us back to our standing end. So we just go under there, and that finishes our knot. That is a casa knot on the bottom, which is an over one, under one pattern. And then a Matthew Walker knot on the top. Now we're going to get a, another string. And we're going to start our interweave just like you start a gaucho fan knot on the left hand side of the standing part. And we'll follow that strand up through. So it's under one, over one, under one, over one. Now over under. Now we get to the top. And right here, we're going to go over one and under two. And right there is where we're going to make that inside bite on our barber pole knot. I don't know if I've ever seen a barber pull knot with nested bites, but we're going to make one right here. Now we're going to go over two, under one, and we're going to be following that strand. So we're going to go over one, split a pair, under two, continue following this strand right here on our right. Under one, over one, split a pair, under two, and out over one. Now we go clear outside the knot with an over and come in with an under so we can follow that strand on our right. So it's under one, over one, under one. Now we go over two and split a pair, under one, over one, under, Got a little twist in my string, that's always a problem with paracord. Okay, so now we're going to go over two to split that pair, and we're going to go under two to do our barber pole knot. Now we're going to make an inside bite, and we're going to go over two, split that pair, under two, and we're going to go over one, we're following that string, over one, 
under two. Over one, split that pair, under two, over one, under two, out over one, and our over one is our two strands, our standing end and the one that finished our first knot, and right there it would be the finish of this first strand of our interweave. So we could go under there and stop and get a new strand and start again right there. Or we can go over here and just our next move is under two, but we want it to go right like that to kind of hide this where this comes, this finishes right there and this starts right there. That's kind of our cheat. Now we're going to be following this strand. So we're going to go, it was under two, over one, under two, and split that pair. Over one, under two, split that pair. Over one, under two, split that pair. And now, we're up here to the top of our uh, barber pole. We're going to go over one. We're going to pick up that one that's underneath to start building our over one, under one pattern at the top. So it's over one, under one. We're going to go over this one. See how it's going over two? And that one's going under, under two. So we're going to go over one under one and that is where we make our nested bite and it's starting our barber pole so we're going to make our nested bite we're going to go over one under one over one oops i went under i went too far over one, under one, over one, under one to split that pair. Now we go over two, split that pair, under two, split that pair, over two, and under one to split that pair, over two, under two, out over the knot with two. Now we're going to come in the knot, under two, split that pair. We're going to go over one, under two, and split that pair. We're going to go over two, split a pair, under two, split a pair. We're going to go over one, under two, and split that pair. Over two, and here's where we got to make our over one, under one. We're going to go over two, get that string under one, over one, under one. And we're going to make an inside bite right there. We turn the corner over one, under one. That's making our barber pole. Over one. We're going to go under two, splitting a pair, splitting a pair. Over two, split a pair, under two, split a pair. Over two, split a pair, under two, split a pair. Over two, split a pair, under two, split a pair. And we're going out over the knot. And where we're going over is where we made that little cheaty move to do our two strands. We're gonna go over that. 
and we'll go right in alongside there and that finishes our knot. So it's a gaucho knot at the bottom, then it's an over one, under one barber pole at the top with nested bites so that when we pull this down, it gives us an over one, under one closing out over the end of our knot. And if we pull that down, it should everything pull up tight and cover the end completely. I hope you've enjoyed this video and I hope you'll try tying this knot. Thank you for watching.